Lots of cold though. Sorry, buddy. It's hard to believe that today is Marvin's gotcha day. I feel like I've been waiting for this for a lot longer than I actually have. Oh, that light is just somehow. You know, like it's been since the beginning of October, I believe, and it's finally here. It feels a little bit like a dream. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm crazy for adopting a dog from Thailand that I've never met and know nothing about, but I love that dog already. And we're really excited to add him to our family. So we are leaving. It's really confusing with the time change between Thailand and here. So it's 12 hours behind in, Thai in Bangkok, but 13 hours behind from Taipei, or Ta Taipei, I think that's how you say it, where he left from today. So he left Taipei, or Tai, whatever, this morning, our time, which is Eastern Standard Time, around 6.50, I believe. And he's estimated to arrive around 7.50, 8 o'clock-ish in Toronto. And that's in the evening. So you see that time change there. It's a little bit confusing. So in Thailand, he's actually arriving here on Sunday. But in Canada, he's actually arriving Saturday evening. So we are leaving here to pick up my sister in Port Elgin because we are not sure how the weather is going to do today. So we want to have us, you know, more co-pilots. So we're leaving here around quarter to two um, to go and pick my sister up who lives about 40 minutes away from us. And then we are going to Toronto and from there it's about a three hour drive from us to go get him in Toronto. So we are hoping to be there extra early because I've never actually been to an airport <laughs> or on an airplane for that matter. So we got to make sure that we know where to park, where to go. All the things and that we were there and 100% ready for him when he gets there. Do you have to sign anything or anything, right? I don't know. Do you want to 
want to go give him a hug? Yeah, can I just say thank you to him? Yes. <laughs> couple of days. even have imagined it going as well as it has been. He has just been a good boy. He was, the first day we had some iffy moments um, with him and Ivy, and then the second day was totally different, and the third day was totally different, and it's like every morning we wake up to a new dog. And it's only been seven days for a dog his age who wasn't raised in a shelter or in a home or we don't even know what his life was like. We don't know his story. But for him to go through what he's gone through in his life and to come into such a strange alien place to him with snow all over the ground and just a new dog, new people, and to be as good as he is is just amazing. It's just amazing. He has, he has improved by leaps and bounds. 
And now, when he first came, I had to carry him everywhere as he would only walk to the road. Like, it was like he thought he could walk his way home back to Thailand. And I would have to carry him all the way down our long laneway because he wouldn't walk himself. He was just freeze and he's never even had any leash training. So he had, he had no idea. And now he's walking back to the house and he's playing with Ivy and snuggling with Ivy on the couch and him and Ivy sleep in our bed now at night and we have no space, <laughs> but our hearts are so full that it doesn't matter. And he's eating and he's drinking and he's finally going to the bathroom constantly without like having to spend three hours outside with him. He is just a different dog. When you call him, he comes wagging his tail and bouncing at you and he's, he's just looking forward to things and when I put on his harness now to go outside for a walk, he's happy about it, he looks forward to going outside and it's just such a miracle to watch and it's totally a Christmas miracle and we are just so thrilled. So even though we don't know Marvin's whole story from then until now, we're so excited to help him write the rest of the story and be a part of it. And we feel really, really blessed.